In this video, I'm going to be going over Awesuite, which is a new client portal tool that is so funny. I think it's going to be really helpful for uh, designers of all sorts, SEO specialists, marketing specialists, anything where you're kind of interfacing with your clients with live active data or design work um, or, you know, coaches, anything where you're kind of interacting with your client on a lot of different levels that you're going to find Awesuite really helpful. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I started as a wedding invitation designer, but I love to educate people on new tools and things that will be helpful for their creative businesses. And Allsuite is one of those. If you use my link, you'll make sure to get the most updated uh, discount options. I'll put that in the description of this video. So Allsuite is different than client management tools that I often educate on. This one is more of a client portal tool. And so the key to using Allsuite is understanding all the different views and portals that you want to interact with your client on. And I'll show you, for example, what one of those looks like. So here is a sample client portal, and this is active Google search data. You can use it. This is fully embedded on here. It's not just like an image of this data, and it's going to um, update all the time, and you can use it the same way that you would use Google search console data. So you can actually change the views and apply them and it's all going to update in here. And at the same time, you can also look at this other view, which is Porter Metrics. So this is gonna be kind of basically your company or company that you work with, um, your own individual profile, and you can see the same thing. You can really interact with this as if you're just on that page. Both of these are kind of active dashboards. There's also like a Figma connection here. so. When the client logs in, they can see all of the different designs that you created on Figma for them before and after. Um, there's some portfolios in here that you, they can click through a few different options. Um, there's some trainings. You can um, upload videos in here and watch mm -hmm. them. We're not getting to watch that right now, uh, but there's a lot of things in here. So this is just one client portal and you can see it has dashboards, design elements, videos, portfolios, trainings, all kinds of things. And then this is just like a link. So if you think about all the different ways in which you can interact with your client, this can be really helpful because you can upload in here like all of their active dashboards they need to keep track of their work over time. You can upload any of their designs. You can put in a video for training purposes, etc. And all of this is customizable. So let me show you a little bit about how it works. So this is your dashboard over here and you'll have your client information as well as your task information. You can assign tasks back and forth between different clients to yourself. Um, you can make notes on tasks. You can set due dates. You can set dependencies like this task needs this other task completed first, that kind of thing. Um, the magic is going to be in these views over here. So I'll click on my client, which I just made myself. And for each client, you can add whatever views you want. And just as a, some examples for views, this is um, our sample design space in Figma. And then if I were to go in here and let's change this font to this one then it's going to upload directly into this view for the client to see. So this is kind of a live view. And the way that we do that is by embedding it. So every time you add a view, we'll just put our second Figma view. You save that and all you need is basically an embed code or URL. So when I go to share this, I just wanna do an embed code and anything that you can embed in here, you can add into a view. So. Super easy, we're just gonna click there and now that design space is here. You can see when it's edited, you can see who it's visible to, you can add um, text about like, hey, tell me what you think at the top. Here's some questions I wanna ask you about this as an invitation designer. For instance, I might ask, you know, is this approved? Make sure you double check. Here's all the, you know, what do you think about this? Those kind of things. Um, and then I'll be able to give them the option of how I allow them to answer that, which is really helpful. So you can add the questions to interact with your clients. Um, anything with a halo on it is going to be viewable to your client. So make sure before you add something, um, you can also turn it into draft mode that it's ready for your clients to see. And then you can see what it's going to look like here. Another one that I use is Assure. I sometimes use this for editing uh, proofs. And so this one actually didn't have an embed code. It just had a share link. And I was actually able to 
share this and it works exactly the same. So it's going to have all the different pieces that they need to prove over here. This is like the mock-up and then each individual piece has its own proof and they can just click right here to make a comment. Don't love this font, for instance. And they'll save that comment and I'll be able to see it. And this is perfectly workable within the views and then they can go, you know, to their next pages. These are just envelopes, so they're, <laughs> they're not that exciting. Um, but I can say, love this, and then I'll be able to see that. So that's all through the Assure app, but you can bring it into All Suite and use it um, within your client portal. A couple other things I have here. This is a testimonial form. It's just a Google form and totally usable right here. You can even submit this from this view. Um, and then I have... This is just an image that I uploaded as a proof. So you can also upload an image. Um, I also use Loom, for instance. So something we can do when we share, you can just click embed and you'll get that embed code. You can add that easily as a view here as well. So Loom video, that could be like instructions on how to use some of your dashboards or what they do next, etc. And there's that video for them right here. If you want to customize your portal, you can do that in portal options and you can change like the different um, sidebar menus. So we saw over here that this one was dashboards, designs, portfolios, even a blog. Um, so that's where you can kind of change that over here. And then the client can kind of create tasks based on the things that they uh, see in the portal and they can also change the language as well. If you use this share link, you can actually create um, an auto login link so they won't need to log in to view the portal. Otherwise, they'll be able to see the portal when they log in. So what that will look like for them. Here's our Figma. Here's our Assure. We would name this something different, but perfectly workable in here to see all the different things, leave comments. Um, here's our image, our Google form. A couple other things they'll be able to see once they log in. Uh, conversations is any messages that they have back and forth with you. Requests are going to be um, if they assign you a task or something. You move my face out of the way. <laughs> files, the client can actually upload files here and you can also upload files and they'll be able to see them in their portal as well. And then the password manager is pretty cool. So this is an encrypted section where if you're sharing passwords, this is really popular like for website developers, things like that. If you're sharing passwords with someone, they'll be able to see all of that here and it's fully encrypted. So it's safe for you to share your passwords as opposed to like emailing them back and forth or something. In your business settings, you can also allow your clients to add users and manage them as they want to. So they can add a contact here that would have access again to the portal. And that's kind of nice because you don't have to do that all the time. The client can actually do that themselves are going to be really helpful. And I mentioned there's a lot of options here. So let's um, name this just a new task and I'll show you some of those options. You can assign it to any client. You can set a specific due date. Um, you can say, hey, this is on hold right now. We're not done with this. We canceled this. And then the dependency is just going to rely on other tasks. So you have to fill out the form before you do new task or vice versa. And then within the tasks, we will have files that can be attached, labels, checklists, and templates as well. So you can use that in the future. All of these tasks and this portal and everything here is going to be within this client. So then if you have another client, you want to switch back to your demo client and you'll see there are any views on this one. So we'll be able to add new views for this client here. So that means you're not going to get um, you're not going to provide all the Google Search Console or designs for one client to another client accidentally. Work journals is kind of the only thing that isn't viewable to your client. And that's just going to be with you and your team. You're able to say, hey, on July 25th, I created this dashboard for this client and uploaded it. And that's going to be timestamped so that your team can just always go back and see what's been done on this client and keep a record of everything that they've done. Otherwise, I kind of showed you conversations, files, all of those things as well. And you'll be able to manage all of that here for each individual client. 
If you ever want to go back to your dashboard, you can just go back here. You can see which tasks you have assigned to you. And they have a ton of helpful uh, tutorials and things if you're not really sure how to get started. Overall, this tool is really unique. It's not something that I've really seen before. It's not exactly a client management tool, but it is kind it's kind of a project management tool, but it's more about interacting through that client portal perspective with your client. So if you're doing, for instance, an entire web design, you might have a bunch of stuff here that's design focus, questionnaires, Google forms, um, testimonial forms, proofs, feedback, et cetera. So all this back and forth for which they're going to need to see all of these individual dashboards and portal views are going to be so helpful to the client and you'll be able to keep all of that in one place as well as the tasks and conversations and files that are associated with this entire job. So I think this is a really amazing tool for people who have a lot of different things uh, that are interactive with their clients and a lot of things they're working on collaboratively. Here are a few examples of things that you can embed to create a view, but basically a view can be anything that has embed code. Even with Assure, I was able to use this review link. It's not even embed code and I was able to make that work. So here's some examples, basically the whole Google suite, all of their data and analytics tools, any internal uh, dashboards that you use, uh, any kind of videos, and then any outside apps like I showed you Assure, um, Figma was another one that I showed you where we just found that embed code. So anytime you can find that embed code, you'll be able to create a view in Ensuite for your clients, for their client portal. And then if something doesn't have that embed code, you can use the files just to upload a image, a PDF, any of those kind of things if you don't have that link or embed code to do that. And of course, I know you're going to ask me about the pricing. So here are the three main plans. It's free for up to three clients if you want to try it out. I love that because you don't have a time limit on there and you can test it out and make sure that you understand and see how helpful it is with your clients. Definitely use my link if you're going to sign up and you enjoyed this video. The professional option is $24 a month and the agency option, which is going to kind of white label everything and just give you more clients, more sub accounts, et cetera, um, is $57 a month. And with the pro or agency options, you have the ability to search a database of other users to see if there's anyone that you need for your projects. So for instance, if you need an SEO specialist, you can search other users of Osweet and find them there. And you can also make yourself searchable if you want. So you might get some additional work that way if other people find your skills to be valuable and something that they need on their team. So I love that they not only connect you with your clients in a lot of different ways, but connect you with other users of Osweet that might be helpful to your team. So let me know what you think of Osweet. And if you're planning to try it out, tell me in the comments what kind of work you do. And if you think it's going to be helpful, I would love to hear about it. And I'd love to hear what features you want me to explore a little bit further so I can film some more tutorials for you. Thanks, everyone.